Ah. Okay. Oh, I've already, I've already put compost on those, all these rows. Okay, well. Welcome back everybody. Well, spring has sprung and we are in, I don't know what you call it, high gear, full gear, full speed ahead. How about that? We are going full speed ahead and getting things ready to go uh, for planting and gardening. I think the last time we hung out, we started a garden from seed, right? Yeah, that's what we did last. Well, I am gonna give you an update on how those little seedlings are doing, because it's been a few weeks now. But first, I have to get the compost out of here, because today we're gonna be planting the 11th and final tree out in the front orchard. Now, if you're wondering what I'm doing right now, this here is OMRI, which is an acronym that I forgot, but it starts with the word organic, certified compost. Now what you see me spreading it on is just the soil that we tilled a while back, which you guys got to see some of on the drone and a time lapse and I am mixing in this organic material here to give this soil a boost. But as it stands, this stuff is actually pretty good. I mean, it's full of earthworms and that tiller did a good job of breaking it up, keeping it from being too compacted. But notice I do not have a tractor or anything so a lot of this is done by hand and with smaller power tools like well the tiller and the lawnmower things like that so but we're moving right along how are your gardens doing that's what i'm wondering it doesn't have to be a big garden right you can start your garden on a balcony tomorrow today So I think I'm gonna want more than this on the rows, but for now, this is fine. What I'm really trying to do is get this garden cart empty so I can pull it with the lawnmower with all of our tree planting stuff because the 11th tree we're planting today is going to be a fig tree and it has some established roots. So I think we're gonna to have to dig pretty big hole for it. Whereas with the bare root trees, um, you know, the hole didn't have to be nearly as big. So, yeah. What else have we got going on? Yeah, I'm all done tilling the rows here, like the tilling part. All I have to do is, I'll go over it one more time to get this compost mixed in. In fact, I have more compost to, uh, I think I'll order it and have it delivered because you can't, can't really have too much compost is, is my, my feeling on things. So yeah, so I'll finish this up. We'll go check out the plants and then we'll get tr uh, planting to, uh, can't talk, we'll get to planting the fig tree. go push here and boom there we go I'm trying to not step on the rows that's why they're spaced like this so that I can walk over them because uh, you, you don't want to once you till you don't want to walk on what you've tilled because you're just gonna recompact it you don't want that nobody wants that 
All right. to fix that squeak before we go much further. Oh yeah. Okay. I think we're good now. Famous last words though. Watch they'll still squeak. Alright, so I think planting this fig tree is going to require a power auger. We're gonna need a shovel, though I think all of my round shovels are far away. So I will just grab this square shovel, which is not ideal, but it'll get the job done. And now we need to grab some compost, which I think I have a bag over here. On top of that, we'll grab We'll just grab a little fertilizer. Why not? Okay. Now, I think we can head down and get the tree itself. Okay, so let me show you the plan here. It's kind of hard to see on camera, I think, but there's a line of trees going this way, this way, and then a line of trees going that way. I kind of want the fig tree to finish off this, I don't know what kind of shape that is, some kind of shape. And, um, <clears throat> finish off the orchard that way. Now I, you always, right before you dig, you always want to call and make sure that there's no utilities underneath the ground. There aren't here. Over there, there are. Uh, they came out and put some flags, but we're not planting anywhere near where the utilities are installed. Um, last thing you want to do is hit a power line and shut off the power for yourself and your neighbors. So we're good here. And I think, I think this is right about where this tree can go. It's got room. There's maples over here, which is fine. They're not too close. A fig tree can get like 30 feet tall. So we want to make sure that it's going to be a good spot for it. I almost want to bring it out a little more, but in keeping with this formation, no, I think this is fine. I think right there is a good spot. Just like that, we have a hole. Okay, so what I'm gonna do with this guy is I'm gonna kind of push my knee. This is a plastic pot, which is, okay. I think we're already broken loose here. Yeah, okay. So, let's see what happens. Yep, just like that. 
Beautiful. Do a test fit here. Woo! Yeah. I think that is pretty good. Let's take a look here. I think it could be a little bit deeper. Okay, so now what we're gonna do is take some of this native soil here and we're gonna mix it in with the compost and we're gonna give it probably about a half cup of the fertilizer here. Try not to breathe that in. <laughs> okay. So we'll put some of this in the hole. I will put the tree in like this. And then around the sides with our compost, dirt, fertilizer mixture. Just get it all around there. So make sure that dirt's good and packed in there. Keep hitting it with the brim of my hat. I'm sorry, fig tree. I'm not trying to jostle you. Just trying to get you a good home here. All right. Okay, so now when you water this, that water will obviously find any air pockets and you'll see the dirt level drop. And uh, what that's doing is that water is just allowing the dirt to fill in those air pockets. There's always a couple air pockets, so there you go. Oh, look at that. There you, off to a good start already. We got a earthworm. There you go, buddy. I'll cover you up so you're not in the sun and we will come back later and kind of carve away the weeds here and then what we'll do is put some fabric tape fabric tape fabric uh, landscape fabric around the base cover it with mulch like we did with the 10 other trees and then we will be good to go what's this Okay, there we go. And that is a planted fig tree. Now let's step away for a second and appreciate our work. I think we did good, guys. So what else did I say we were gonna do? Oh, I said we were gonna go check out the garden, the plant starts. Let's go do that real quick. So you'll remember I planted 66 cells uh, one seed in each cell. We got a pretty good germination rate. I think it was 83, 87% germination rate. Some of them did not survive. But here's a picture of where it all started. That tiny, tiny little seedling coming out of the ground. And those same exact seedlings are now here. So here's a tomato. Look at how big they get in just a few weeks. It's absolutely incredible. So I have them out here in this little greenhouse because we haven't quite, here's another one. Look at that. It's absolutely incredible. Um, obviously we repotted them into these four inch pots, but they're already getting to the size. You can kind of see a root coming out of the bottom here. They're already ready to go into six eight inch i'm not sure what size is the next one up but yeah this is just it's this stuff right here that makes me super happy just i love doing it oh here's more because that mini greenhouse wasn't big enough so there's more in there and there's more in here so uh in addition to that there's a whole nether tray that we started more peppers and tomatoes so there's just lots going on guys 
So um, until next time, have a wonderful day and I will see you on the next video. Bye.